guys, Joseph Rackage here from josephrackagefitness.com. Now today, in this video, I'm gonna show you one tip or technique that Arnold actually taught me. I learned this from Arnold, um, from watching his videos, and that is the correct way to perform a dumbbell fly. It all comes down to cut, which is time and attention. Basically means keeping the stress and attention on the muscle throughout the exercise. Now the most common way that you see people perform dumbbell flies in the gym is often incorrect. What they do, they get, they bring the dumbbells right the way down, get a stretch, and they bring it right together, and they touch those two dumbbells. What happens when you touch those two dumbbells? When those two dumbbells are connected, all that you're doing is releasing the stress, releasing the time and the tension, releasing the activation from the chest, removing that, and placing that on your shoulders and on your elbows. And you're just resting the dumbbells basically on your hands. Chest is not involved at all. So you're deactivating the chest, which is making it easier for your chest therefore it does not give your chest enough reason to grow and progress so the tip or technique that i learned from arnold um, not directly in person but from watching his videos um, was to keep the stress on the muscle the whole entire time now if you've watched pumping iron or anything like that and you watch the way arnold does his flies he comes right the way down gets a good stretch but only comes up three quarters of the way so that whole entire time that arnold is performing the exercise there is constant stress, constant tension on the pectoral muscles. For example, if you only come to here, because of gravity, gravity pulling your arm down, your pectoral muscle has to fight against that um, negative pull. Therefore creating more stress, more time out of tension, which is going to lead to more muscle growth. Anyway, I'm about to perform my set, so I'll show you guys exactly how it's performed. Pro tip, make sure you've got two even dumbbells. <laughs> Not the first time I haven't done that. Alright, so the first two reps I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the incorrect way. So what people do, they come down and get a good stretch, and they connect. All that's done right there is deactivate my chest. Stretch, connect. The correct way to do a dumbbell fly, come right the way down, and only to there. Another tip and technique that I like to use is I like to drop my traps down and pinch my shoulder blades back together. While I do this, I excessively puff my chest up. Puff my chest up, sorry. What that does, it just puts more stress on the chest. Where a lot of people, they don't focus on that, so they end up rolling over with their deltoids. And their deltoids end up doing the fly, which again is deactivating the chest. So the take home message of this whole video, focus on keeping the tension on your chest. Now you do this by using a partial range of motion and by dropping your traps down, pinching your shoulder blades back together and puffing your chest up. Use those techniques um, next time you train chest and honestly, you'll get so much more out of your chest workout. Now I must say though, if you are doing like a pec deck machine or a cable fly, you can connect um, your hands together because there is constant tension because of the cable or because of the machine pulling against you. So you've still got that negative pull on your chest. However, when performing dumbbell flies, just use that partial range of motion. Anyway guys, I hope you found this tip useful. Um, more videos coming every single day. So if you're new here and you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. Also, for anyone that needs help with building muscle or losing body fat, um, you can join my 12 week transformation program link in the description box um, for more info on what that includes anyway guys thank you for watching i'm gonna finish my chest workout but i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video